Top 5 Distinguished Features of Test Project After watching this video, you would probably rethink of using your current automation testing tool. Let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today I'll be talking about top 5 distinguished features of test project and how test project stand out from other automation testing tool available currently in the market. The first feature that we're going to discuss is the feature that lets you run your test from anywhere in any machine if you have test agent configured within your test project account. So you can download the agent in Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. The next feature is easily plug and play real Android and iOS devices to test hybrid native applications from Windows and Mac operating system. So as you can see, no other automation testing tool currently provide supporting running the automation testing tool at least from a Windows operating system. But Test Project is the first tool which lets you run your iOS automation testing right from Windows operating system. And also, you can just plug and play any one of the Android or iOS device in your machine and then you can run the test. We will see a demo of this in this video. And then write custom add-ons and use community-driven add-ons within your test. So you can use hundreds of community-driven add-ons library which is already available in test project or you can use your own add-ons within your test and then you can reuse that. That's really, really cool. This is one of the features that you can use within your company and you can share the add-ons within your cross project within the company so that the babysitting works of doing the same job again and again will be completely eradicated. Extending test project with SDKs and language of your choice. The current SDK even though is restricted to Java, the plan for test project is to extend the SDK from Java to JavaScript, Python, C Sharp and even Groovy. So if all these SDKs are available then this will be the first tool which is supporting multiple different platforms that do wrapping all the complex coding logic within their SDK. And finally, managing devices in one place anywhere from the world. So if you have configured your device within your agent, then you can also control the device from anywhere within the portal. So that if you want to unlock your device or you need to reboot your device or if you need to change settings within your Android or iOS device, you can straight away do that from the Manage Agent Devices tab and then you can perform all these operations. Well, let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Test Agents within our Chrome browser. So this is my Test Project account as I have already discussed in our previous videos. We'll quickly see each and every features one by one. Feature number one is the Agents. As you can see, we currently have Agent supports for different operating systems like Windows, Mac and Linux operating system and I have already installed the agent which is running in my Windows operating system. And this agent, as you can see, is very easy to be installed as we did in our previous video. And this agent can run any test from anywhere. So if you want to run your test on the Mac operating system and if it is connected, then you can just run the test from your machine in just one place. Even from the browser, you can do that. That's very, very easy and much straightforward. That's something that we discussed in our previous video. The next feature that we're going to discuss is the plug and play of the Android devices. I'm going to quickly show you how it works. So if I go to the YouTube test that I already have within my project, and if I want to run the YouTube test, I have physically connected my device. So once I connect it, and once I hit this start record button, it is automatically going to connect to my Xiaomi cell phone it's a physical device and you can see it is currently connecting and then it's also doing some preparation. All of them automatically happens on the fly. That's really, really cool. So once everything is done, your device will be available in friction of second and then you can run your test. So if I want to run my test, if I hit this run button, you can see it is automatically going to start running the test of the one which I have already recorded. So it's going to open the YouTube and then it's going to perform the operation that I have already recorded. That easy it is. So you don't really have to have all those SDKs and really, really hard configuration problems that we were going through 
in all these different automation testing tools before. There we go. So that's the plug and play option that you have within our test project. So it's very, very easy and much simpler. You can also control all the different operation right from here. The next feature that we have with test project is the add-on feature. So if I click this add-ons, you can see there are community driven add-ons, test projects own useful add-ons, and then you can create your own private add-ons, and then you can verify the list of installed add-on within your test project account. So if I click this community, you can see these are the different kinds of add-on which is created by the community for different kinds of platform. It can be for Android, it can be for iOS, it can be for the web technology as well. So these are the different kinds of add-ons that you got. And similarly, if you want to see the test project's own add-on, you can also see that. So you can see, if we want to install this add-on, you can straight away go here and then you can install the Element Finder add-on within your account so that you can use this add-on within your test. This is really, really cool. And then if you want to upload your own add-on, then you can go to the accounts and then if you can click this new add-on and you can create your own add-on and then start uploading the jar file and start working from there. That's really easy and we'll be discussing that in our upcoming videos of this course. And that's the great feature for you there. And the fourth feature, the standout feature is the SDK. As I already said, we have support of the SDK with Java. So you can click this download Java SDK option and you can see that it is downloading the SDK for you so you can directly configure this with your IntelliJ IDE and then you can start using it. So this is very, very easy and straightforward because you can see that it will let you write a very, very interesting code like page object models or the much organized code, the one which you can do in Selenium and Appium and the same exact code that you can do even with the test projects SDK as well. It's much easier and much simpler. So the rest of these SDKs are coming soon. And once these are out, I guess this is the first tool which is going to support Java and C Sharp together in one single tool. Number five, managing the device from the agent. So if you go to the agents, we already discussed how these agents look like if you install them in different operating system. But there is another option where you can also see the devices which is already connected within your test projects portal or within your test projects account. So if you click the devices, it will also show you the devices online and also you can click this I symbol over here so that it will show you the device current status. So if I open this, you can see that it is currently connecting this device and this is my home screen of the device and you can also do some simple gestures something like this and something like this to bring all the notifications and you can click the notifications to be deleted and then you can swipe left or swipe right something like this and you can also click the settings from here which means you can probably manage exactly how you do with your real device from remote machines. So for instance, if this Xiaomi device, if it is not connected in my local machine or if the agent is currently running in my US server machine and that machine has this particular device connected, I can easily manage the device which is connected in the US server machine right from this particular UI. That's really, really cool. So this way I can manage my device from even any place across the globe using much simpler interface, something like this. I can also reboot the device, I can also lock the device, and I can do almost anything that I can do from a physical machine from a local place. That's a great feature as well. And these are some of the features I guess I have not seen anywhere in any automation testing tool, at least who are providing things for free. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day.